For as much as I love the Dreamcast, I've learned to accept the console's many faults. It was good at so many things, but lousy when it came to traditional role-playing games. Your options boil down to a few forgettable third-tier adventure games, and two exciting Fantasy Star Online entries that ditch turn-based tactics for fast-paced action. If you were a Sega fan in 2000, you really only had two viable RPG choices, the brilliant skies of Arcadia and Game Art's Grandia 2. It's been 15 years since those two games hit the Dreamcast, and I would argue that they both hold up a lot better than most of Sega's 2000 lineup. Just in time to help prove my point is Grandia 2 Anniversary Edition, a remastered port hitting Steam this week. While not as flashy as Final Fantasy or as original as Skies of Arcadia, this updated re-release is a testament to how much fun a well-crafted turn-based role-playing game can be. You play Ryudo, an atheist mercenary with a thing against women. Despite his rough edges, he's a likable, roguish adventurer who is ready to take on the next quest, as long as there's money involved. His newest job involves escorting a young songstress named Elena to a nearby religious ritual, but things do not go as planned and darkness is unleashed in the world, killing most of the sisters of the Church of Granas and leaving Elena with a troubling secret. While the startling songstress manages to get out with only a few minor cuts and bruises, something has tagged along with her. There's a bit of darkness inside of Elena, and it manifests itself as a winged demon woman named Millennia. What looks like an easy job has turned into a real nightmare for Ryudo, and it won't take long for our surly hero to get caught up in an epic battle between good and evil. As adventure games go, this is pretty standard stuff. There's not much subtlety to Ryudo, and it's painfully clear that the godless sexist is going to go on a journey that makes him soften up on both points. He and Elena embark on a quest to inform others of the impending apocalypse, which forces him to not only get along with a strong woman, but also confront all of the mythology he dismisses as fairy tales. It won't take long for a pattern to develop. Ryudo and Elena will visit a small town, get caught up in their concerns, and then explore some enemy-filled dungeon that always concludes with a tough boss fight. Early on, the fighting duo will take on more members, including a young boy named Rowan, and Merig, a beast man. Including Millennia and an automata you find halfway through the adventure, the game only has six playable characters. While not the most ambitious role-playing game, Grandia 2 nails the most important elements, for one thing, the fast-paced combat is as fun to watch as it is to play. Gone are the days of stationary characters standing in a line. Ryudo and his team will be scattered all around the arena and constantly on the move. You'll see fighters chasing an enemy, all while Merig is chopping up a nearby monster. It's the perfect compromise between turn-based gameplay and speedy combat. The game's unique combat bar helps give the fast-paced action some much-needed depth. Knowing the order will allow players to time counterattacks and even cancel an opponent's special moves. But beware, because the enemies are able to do the same thing to you, leading to some truly epic battles. Game Art's role-playing experience comes through in this polished adventure game. It goes beyond the exciting combat mechanics and permeates through all facets of the game, including the customizable magic spells and ease of equipment shopping. There's a confidence in the writing. It's brash and witty without being showy. The banter between Ryudo and Elena is immediately engaging, and everybody's personality comes through with every line. At the same time, the game's linear path can sometimes drag down the momentum. There aren't a lot of gameplay surprises after the first few hours. You're on the town, dungeon, boss cycle for most of the adventure. The locations and enemies may change but you're largely running the same tasks between story beats. And then there's the awful camera, which has remained a problem since its release 15 years ago. Normally, the overhead perspective isn't an issue, but it becomes a major obstacle in the labyrinthian dungeons. It's too easy to get lost in a sea of walls, forced to fight the camera for a few seconds of visibility. 
It didn't help that the right analog stick's camera control was mysteriously reversed, which had me scrambling to use the shoulder buttons instead. As the Anniversary Edition subtitle suggests, this is more than just another Grandia 2 port. Unsurprisingly, the most obvious difference involves the visuals. Not only has the resolution been bumped up, but there are also new shadow and lighting effects, as well as improved anti-aliasing. That's not to say that Grandia 2 looks like a modern game, but this is certainly the best I've seen it looking. Other changes include a new difficulty level and Japanese voice acting, something you didn't get in the Dreamcast original. Unfortunately, nobody decided to go in and explain why this anniversary matters. Upgraded graphics and new difficulty aside, this is a bare-bones package that gives new players no context. Thankfully, the journey itself is worth embarking on, but it wouldn't have hurt to add a short documentary talking about the launch and why this game is worth remembering. If they won't do it, then allow me. Grandia 2 is a back-to-basics old-school adventure game that elevates the generic good versus evil storyline with clever writing and a strong cast of characters. The combat is fast and offers enough changes to set itself apart from the Final Fantasies of the world. I wish Gung Ho had done more to enhance the game beyond the remastered visuals, but Grandia 2 Anniversary Edition is a great port of one of the Dreamcast's best role-playing games. Hey, thanks for watching my review. I know it probably won't happen, but I wish Sega would go back and remaster Skies of Arcadia. With that and Grandia 2 both on Steam, you'd have both of the Dreamcast's best RPGs in one easy spot. Anyway, we have a bunch of reviews coming up, including a look at Bard's Gold, Most Speedrun 2, and a little game called Metal Gear Solid 5: The Phantom Pain. So make sure and hit the subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then, 